one adult and two children, please. I can think of at least two things wrong with that title. In 1991, David Cronenberg brought William S. Burroughs' infamous novel, Naked Lunch, to the big screen, transforming a literary labyrinth into a cinematic enigma. Here are 10 fascinating insights into the film and its journey from page to screen. 1. Why David Cronenberg took on the project David Cronenberg, known for his mastery of body horror and psychological thrillers, seemed an unlikely candidate to adapt Burroughs' surreal and fragmented novel. Yet, it was precisely Cronenberg's penchant for the bizarre and his skill in visual storytelling that drew him to the project. Cronenberg recognized that the novel's chaotic narrative and controversial themes demanded an unconventional approach, a challenge he was more than ready to accept. 2. The Inspiration of the Story Naked Lunch is less a linear story and more a series of vignettes, inspired by Burroughs' own experiences with addiction and his adventures in the shadowy underworlds of Tangier and New York. The novel's title refers to a moment of clarity where one sees reality for what it is, a naked lunch. Cronenberg embraced this hallucinatory essence, crafting a film that blurs the lines between reality and delusion. 3. The Battle of Censorship Both Burroughs' book and Cronenberg's film faced significant censorship battles. Upon its release in 1959, Naked Lunch, was banned in several cities for its explicit content. Cronenberg's adaptation was no less controversial, pushing the boundaries of acceptable cinema with its graphic depictions of drug use, sex, and violence. Despite these challenges, the film maintained the raw, unfiltered essence of Burroughs' work, a testament to Cronenberg's commitment to authenticity. For the Cronenberg blessing from Burroughs to have women in the film, in a significant departure from the novel, Cronenberg introduced female characters into the film. Burroughs, whose work often sidelined women, surprisingly endorsed this decision. This inclusion added a new dimension to the story, bringing in perspectives that were absent in the original text and enriching the narrative fabric of the film. 5. Burroughs 500 Notes A Non-Traditional Timeline Burroughs' novel was constructed from a collection of over 500 notes, written in a nonlinear, almost arbitrary sequence. This chaotic structure posed a unique challenge for Cronenberg, who chose to merge elements from Burroughs' life with the fictional narrative. The result is a film that mirrors the disjointed, dreamlike quality of the source material while providing a more cohesive cinematic experience. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and join the crew by subbing and clicking the bell. 6. Burroughs' original attempt to make a movie Before Cronenberg's adaptation, Burroughs himself had attempted to bring Naked Lunch to the screen. In the 1960s, he collaborated with filmmaker Anthony Balch on a project that ultimately never materialized. Burroughs' vision was as avant-garde as his writing, but the technology and sensibilities of the time were ill-suited to realize his unconventional ideas. 7. The Music of the Film The soundtrack of Naked Lunch, composed by Howard Shore and featuring jazz great Ornette Coleman, plays a crucial role in the film's atmosphere. Shore's haunting score, combined with Coleman's improvisational jazz, mirrors the film's erratic narrative and the chaotic psyche of its protagonist. This musical collaboration underscores the surreal, otherworldly quality of the story. 8. Burroughs' Beatnik Following Burroughs was a central figure in the Beat Generation, a literary movement that included Jack Kerouac and Allen Ginsberg. His experimental style and rebellious spirit resonated with the counterculture of the 1950s and 60s. This Beatnik influence is palpable in Naked Lunch, both in the novel and Cronenberg's film, which captures the disillusionment and defiance of the era. 9. Drugs and Burroughs Burroughs' relationship with drugs was both personal and profound. His addiction to heroin and other substances informed much of his writing, 
imbuing it with a visceral realism. Cronenberg, while not an addict himself, approached the subject with sensitivity and insight, portraying the harrowing impact of addiction with a nuanced, non-judgmental lens. This perspective was critical in authentically conveying the essence of Burroughs' experiences. 10. Cronenberg's struggle with his heterosexuality and drug use While Burroughs was openly homosexual and his writing often reflected his sexual identity, Cronenberg, a heterosexual, approached the project from a different angle. He grappled with understanding and authentically portraying Burroughs' world. Unlike Burroughs, Cronenberg did not have first-hand experience with hard drugs, but his exploration of altered states and psychological horror in his previous works provided a unique entry point into Burroughs' hallucinatory narrative. In the end, Naked Lunch is a film that defies easy categorization. It's a testament to Cronenberg's daring vision and Burroughs' revolutionary spirit, blending their distinct voices into a haunting, surrealist masterpiece. For those willing to traverse its bizarre landscapes, the film offers a profound, unsettling glimpse into the depths of human consciousness and the chaos that lies within. Who's your daddy?